The first matrix operation I want to talk about here is known as scalar multiplication. Of course, that reminds us of scalar multiplication, right, for vectors. It essentially works the exact same way. So I notate scalar multiplication uh, for a matrix in the following fashion through adjacency. So C is my scalar, just a real number. A is my matrix. So to write out the algebraic definition would work like this. Let's say just for a simple two by two matrix. So let's say we have A11, A12 are the entries now, A21, A22. What do I do when I uh, perform scalar multiplication? I distribute the scalar across each of the components. So that's gonna result in this matrix C times A11, C times A12, C times A21, and C times A22, okay. So there's the algebraic definition of scalar multiplication. Let's see that with just a simple example uh, for a matrix we just encountered a moment ago. Nice two by two matrix, let's say the matrix one, two, three, four, I want to scale that by the value three. What do I do? I simply distribute the scalar component uh, to each of the entries in the matrix. So three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, and three times four is 12. Let's talk next about our second matrix operation, and that operation is matrix addition. And it's worth noting that I can only add matrices that have the same dimension. So if I'm gonna add a matrix A to another matrix B, right, they must, in order for this operation to be well-defined, otherwise it's undefined, they must have the same dimension and the same number of rows and the same columns. So the way this is done is it's just done component-wise. More directly, let's just write this in terms of a two by two matrix just to make the notation relatively accessible. So let's say our components are A11 in the usual fashion, A12 and so forth. So there's my matrix A. Let's say we're gonna add that to the matrix B. I'll denote the components of B with lowercase b's here. So B11, B12 and so forth. Okay, what is my resultant matrix when I add these together? Once again, I add component wise. So the first components, right, the 1, 1 components, if you like, are added together. So that gives me A11 plus B11. Really lots of writing just to connote the fact that we're gonna add component wise. Okay, but just to be complete here, A12 we add to B12 gives me sort of that new upper right component in the resultant matrix. Then I move on to the next row. I go A21 plus B21 is that component. And lastly, A22 plus B22, okay. So there is the algebraic definition of matrix addition, no different than vector addition, really. So to see a simple example, let's say we want to add the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4 to the matrix. Oh, we'll just make something up here. Negative 1, of course, I can have negative values and, and whatnot. Um, let's say we want to add it to this matrix, so we'll call this A matrix and the matrix B. Notice, of course, that these have the same dimension, so the uh, addition of these matrices is defined. So let's add them together, get our resultant matrix, which will be A plus B, okay? So what do we have? Negative one plus one is zero. Two plus zero, of course, is two. Three plus two is five, and four minus four is zero. So there is the resultant matrix A plus B. It's also worth mentioning, just in terms of kind of obvious uh, properties that are useful here. Matrix addition is commutative, meaning that if I add the matrices together in either order, I get the same result. A plus B, namely, is, B, is equal to B plus A. And the reason that's true is because we're inheriting the property of commutativity by addition for real numbers.